Well, folks, I thought we had quite a good transfer window. It seems football manager might have other ideas and we're in very real danger of falling victim to second season syndrome because all of the big teams who were playing their reserves against us last year and letting us beat them are now putting their first team out and we've lost three from three at the start of the season and not even look competitive. So I'm hoping the teams that aren't very good, we're now good enough to beat because if not, we're absolutely getting relegated this year and I will be getting fired. And that'll be the end of the save. So cross your fingers, boys and girls. Uh, so yeah, if you weren't in last night's stream and you missed today's Lelujo 2 video because it was late, it's understandable, you probably normally watch it on your lunch break and because it came out like 12 minutes ago, you've maybe not seen it. Um, but we lost 4-0 to Hibs, 3-1 to Celtic. 4-3 to Aberdeen. It's not the best start we've ever had. Dundee are a team who should be down the bottom of the table with us at the business end of the season. This next game is kind of make or break for early form. We're at home against a team that we need to be finishing above. If we lose against them, I mean, they're the other team on zero points. If we lose against them, we have a big problem this season. So I'm hoping we don't lose. The other thing, of course, we've got to look forward to is transfer deadline day and hopefully bringing in some free loans because that's the one thing we had last year that we don't have this year is all the freebie loans. So we will be trying to get some free loans in again to bolster the squad. But yeah, I'm, I'm not overconfident right now. If you go out walking in Norway, you need walking boots. Uh, yeah, we're going to try and get ourselves. We've got a year to try and find a sponsor for the videos to get us out in Arctic gear that's the plan right here we go here we go surely come on i think this is okay to talk about because i turned it down um I, I, I still can't tell you stuff like how much they offered me um but i was offered <laughs> the side men are launching a breakfast cereal and uh, they wanted me to, I mean, I assume it was KSI sending the message, wanted me to do, to basically go to Tesco and buy the cereal and then eat it and say it was delicious. And um, it, I mean, it obviously didn't come directly from the side, but it came via an agency. But to show you my level of integrity as a content creator, as an influencer, my actual reply to a legitimate agency was... <laughs> Since having my gallbladder removed, anytime I eat breakfast, I basically poo myself. And I've talked about this a lot on stream. <laughs> so I don't think, with good conscience, I'm the man to promote your breakfast cereal. They didn't reply. So I'm not doing... Uh, I mean, they've basically had the promo now without paying me. But of all the things that I could have been asked to promote. A breakfast cereal. Oh, my word. Where is... Huel, you're the ones I really want. We're being linked with a £1 million signing. I'm sure he would be a superb signing. However, we don't have a million pounds. So that's absurd. But it is deadline day, so it's time to start with the... With the loans, the free loans. Now you can say the sidemen sort of know who I am. They know who I am. Of course they do. I've played football manager. I, I've, I've been on the fringes of the sidemen. I've played football manager against Manny. And um, what's his face? The Pokemon fella who's not quite in the sidemen. So respectful that I remember his name. We've spoken about po Randolph. Yeah, we've spoken about Pokemon a couple of times in DMs. He follows me. So Manny and Manny and Randolph both follow me. So I'm I'm on I'm on the edges. I'm an extra bit on the side. Short stays in the TikTok chat. Hello, short stay. Everyone say hello to short stay. But yeah, so basically. I'm mates with KSI and the other ones whose names I don't know. KSI, the tall one, and the others. That's as much as I know about the sidemen. Right, let's see if we can get any of these for free. That's literally all we're looking for. If they're outside of England, we can have as many of them as you want. So we'll just... We'll take any outside of England that are free, even if it means multiple in each position. 
So that's two left backs already. This is how you do transfers in Scotland. That's three left backs we're going to get. <laughs> One of them might be good. That's the thing. Oh, my word. This is so different to last year. This is revolutionary. Where was this last year? I'm getting them all. We're bringing in an entirely new squad for nothing on deadline day. Deadline day loans are the greatest thing. Boo! We've got to pay him. Boo! There you go. That's more like it. We don't want to be paying anybody. What do you think this is? Now you're talking more free loans. We're going to have to send a coach to the train station to get everyone to training. Training tomorrow is going to be insane. Look at them all. Oh, Team Cohesion. Who needs it? Team Cohesion's for cowards. We just want Premier League youngsters. Why do we waste all that money on actual transfers when we could have just waited and done this? We could have played the youth team and lost every game at the start of the season the way we did. But even if only three or four of them are any good, I can just stick the rest of them in the under-21s and it doesn't matter. They're not costing us anything. Well, there we go. Let's see how many sign. Yeah, I guess the reputation boost is the thing. The downside, I guess, is we might burn some bridges with some of these clubs by bringing in players and then not using them. But I suppose that's more of a... That's a problem for future Kev. And frankly, I don't care about him. What's he ever done for me? Nothing. Nothing is what he's done for me. Right, here they come then. One, two, three, four... Five, six, oh, seven, eight. That's eight loans. Oh my God, they're trash. Send them all back. Oh, what's this? I was so excited briefly. Well, never mind. They're all going to be good in the future, but none of them are good now. Yeah, this isn't this isn't the dream, is it? This isn't what we were hoping for. Like I said, maybe one or two will be any good. They're all five-star potential future premiership players. But not one of them has been above two stars of current ability yet. Meanwhile, my director of football is still trying to sign people on free transfers when we have literally no money to do that with. I don't know what he's doing. I'm not sure he knows what he's doing. Because we're not going to be able to offer anybody any kind of money. appease them until January. There's no way to appease this many two-star players. A two-and-a-half-star one! Hooray! We got a good one. I mean, they are all high potential, so I guess any of them who do get into the team will get good relatively quickly. Just they're not going to start good, are they? We have got quite a large squad now. More football boys. More. The director of football has secret money. I think that might be the case. Oh, he's a two and a half star centre back. There you go. That's not terrible. A two and a half star, star enthusiastic striker. I don't care how enthusiastic he is with eight pace. I'm an enthusiastic striker. That doesn't mean I'm going to play. This guy's two and a half stars and is a little bit quicker. See, he's 21 years old and at West Ham. He should be good for him to still be at West Ham at 21 years old. I'm glad I'm not doing this right at the end of a Thursday night stream because I'd be so confused coming back on Sunday with all these new players and not knowing where they've come from. So if we look at our best 11 now, so a few of them, 
I mean, Smith was already here. Hardcastle was the one we just looked at. So he's quite good. And then we've got this Thomas guy in midfield who we looked at a minute ago. And that's it for starters. And then the bench is going to be full of loans. I mean, I think it's fine. What's my favourite egg? Chicken. I mean, Hull don't really understand why I want rid of him there, do they? No, I don't want to loan him for you and still pay half his salary. I want you to give me £5 million for him. Goodness me. Goodness me. I'd like this to be the last year I have to do this nonsense. <laughs> I want to have actual money in the bank for next summer. Right, we're signing this guy. My director of football's found him. I guess we just let him come in. Can't imagine we actually need him, but he seems quite good. He is 30, though, so take it with a pinch of salt. We signed 34 players that window. Is that too many players? Right, Hardcastle, we've promised to play is as a no-nonsense centre-back. So he can be a no-nonsense centre-back. I've never really used... Well, I have used it, but not at premiership level before. Let's go beat Hearts. And squad numbers will be given to 10 players. The bench is all loans. All of those people. That is 10 new players have turned up for match day today. 10 football boys who weren't here three days ago. And I'll just pick the best 11 out of them. We don't need any permanent players. How do you get so many tiles on the match screen? Uh, it's all to do with your screen resolution. So you need to either play on a big monitor or reduce your zoom. I'm playing on a like 28 inch 4K monitor, I think it is. It's a big one. Um, if you're playing on a normal size monitor, just reduce your zoom, zoom to like 95%. That is hideous. So, right. What's your name? Hayden Hardcastle. There was one thing we discussed about how you would play as a footballer. You were told under no circumstances was there to be any nonsense. Anna's here. Your Lego is getting trashed out here and please be quiet. Okay, can you pass me it? No, I'll put it on top of the box. Okay. He was specifically told no nonsense. I haven't used a no nonsense. I've never felt that in the whole of FM24. I've never felt the need to tell a player not to get involved in any nonsense. The one man I've told no nonsense. 28 minutes later, we get what can only be described as a piece of nonsense. Oh, it's not him. It's McNamara. Okay. I've, Hayden, you're forgiven. Is that Danny McNamara off Millwall? Yes. He literally did that yesterday against Blackburn. Who says FM isn't accurate? Wow. Nice hat. Thank you very much. It's got my initials on. That's why I bought it. It's got my initials and says I'm a champion. So I really like it. Oh, we're going to lose against all the big teams, aren't we? The biggest tip would be if you are just starting out, manage the team you support in real life. Makes everything much easier if you already know the players. But other than that, go check out the videos over on YouTube. Are we going to do a football goal here? No, no, we're not. Beautiful. I imagine that painfully slow striker was somewhere near the centre circle when that attack was going on, which is why he didn't get on the end of it. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I'm just going to sit here and open my new stickers. These ones have got Mario on. Right, Dundee United are another one of those teams we're supposed to beat. So, or not even supposed to beat. One of those teams that are going to be down our end of the league. So if we hope to stay up, we must beat. I can, I can smell it. I can taste it. I sense it. I know it's coming. Always trust my smell, boys and girls. Yeah, we are playing in a different stadium while ours is getting extended. That's why we don't have sides again. We're just reversed. If this opposite side also has nothing. So there's nothing on either side. It's just got two ends. How is that a biggest... How do they fit 9,000 people in here? Well, it's just got the two ends. Brilliant. 
Scottish football, ladies and gentlemen. Bang, 2-0. So we're good against the teams around us. It is race ground, yeah. Um, we'll have a look at it properly after the match. Well, there's a few on here, actually. Oh, that looks nice. Someone's in sea bass with Cajun spice potato and whatever Cavallo Nero is. That looks nice. These all look quite nice. Oh, was that yours from yesterday, actually? Same person. I loved my season ticket behind the goal. Best place to watch the tactical plays. How is behind the goal a place to see any tactics? All you can see is everything condensed together. You can't tell who's... You, I can't tell the difference between the attackers and the defenders. I don't think my vision has any depth to it. I don't want to see replays of goals we've conceded. Imagine Job during Christmas dinner while his family is all over Jude. I know. I mean, the family dynamic in that kind of situation must be so awkward because he is earning half a million pounds a week. He's got more money than he'll ever be able to spend. And it's not that Job is poor. I think we'd all take eight grand a week. But he's just a really, really wealthy, normal person. Whereas Bellingham, Jude Bellingham, is like could buy a country levels of absolute insane wealth it just must be really weird because in any other family joe burning eight grand a week and playing in the mls they'd be so proud but jude's there oh by the way mum and dad i've just bought you another mansion to live in uh christmas presents yeah i got you both lamborghinis yeah, we'll uh, we'll do that at some point. We'll put together our top ten and we'll put them in order. We won't do it tonight. I feel like I need a graphic prepared. That would be something that would work well alongside some Lego construction. Yeah, when we do the new camp build, we'll also put together our uh, our top ten Premier League managers of all time. That seems like an incredible plan. We'll do a twofer. Dis Herbie. <laughs> On what grounds is he one of the best managers in Premier League history? He's had a couple of good seasons with Brighton. Football goal. According to Google, Ferguson spending at United adjusted for inflation is 3.5 billion. It's quite a lot, isn't it? So what does that average out at over the number of years he was there? And then let's get an inflation-adjusted Guardiola figure averaged out over the number of years he's there and see which one of the two of them... I'm giving you all homework. See which one of the two of them had the highest average yearly spend adjusted for inflation. I speculate it will be fairly similar. But... I'd be interested in knowing the answer. I want to know what the holdup is on this number. Are we trying to work out how many years he's been there? <laughs> There's a guy in the TikTok chat. Paddy, you seem very upset. No, I'm not saying training kids up from a young age is luck, but those kids having the potential to be as good as they were absolutely is an element of luck. If you're trying to suggest that that Manchester United youth team, the famous one, there's no luck involved in them all coming along at the same time, you are in a fantasy land. Right, we've got the numbers then. 134 million for Fergie, 142 million for Pep. So they've basically spent roughly the same per season to achieve what they've achieved. Sell as many duds as they do players that end up world class. And that just isn't represented in Football Manager. You, there are certain things you can't do with the real players. Like you can't, you you might the 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 Andros Townsend tweet that goes around every now and again. Because of stuff like that, you don't have real life players with attitude problems, missing training. Stuff like the missing training, the stumbling out of nightclubs late at night, um, coming out as gay. That stuff only happens with new gems. 
What was the trick? Have you not seen the Andros Townsend? It was Andros Townsend, wasn't it? The Andros Townsend thing that circles around occasionally, where there was some, I think someone was playing in FM and he got fined two weeks' wages for missing training or something, and his girlfriend or wife saw it and was like, What? What's this? It's a tweet that wheels back round again every few years. I'm sure it was Andros Townsend. It might have been somebody else. One of you will know, will have seen it. Someone will dig it out now. But I'm sure it was him. I'm now Googling it. I want to try and find the tweet to show you it. Uh, Andros Townsend missing training. Yeah, so here's the details. Townsend wife saw a screenshot on, a screenshot on Twitter and thought it was real. My missus searched my name on Twitter and a fine came up. The fine was reporting out for training. Her mind was going, yeah, there you go. It's all the details. Where did you get fined for not showing up to training? Just saw on Twitter. Yeah, it's awesome. Here we go, look. So here's their WhatsApp conversation. When did you get fined for not turning up to training? Just saw it on Twitter. Huh? I got fined? Show me. And then the picture is an FM screenshot. <laughs> It's brilliant. <laughs> oh, I hope we've got that as a clip somewhere. Anna walking into the in-game social feed being on, seeing a woman's name. Who is she? Brilliant. If we haven't got that as a clip, we're missing out. That would do, that would do numbers on TikTok. I'm fuming if no one clipped that. Right, now we're away against Celtic. We've got all the difficult games back-to-back. -back. I don't like this fixture list this season. We shouldn't be playing Rangers and Celtic back-to-back. -back. That is not good for morale. And then we've got Aberdeen, who are second in the league. Goodness me, this is a rough run of form of matches. Our first 11 is getting closer and closer to being entirely blue. That seems a little harsh if they end up in the relegation group with us. That feels a little unfair. Rangers are falling apart. Rangers always seem to bomb on my saves, never understood it. I mean, I'm not going to start a conspiracy theory here, but Nick Madden, the guy who is in charge of the football manager match engine, is a Celtic fan. Oh, Celtic are quite good. This is very problematic. Did I really like the Marvels? I thought the Marvels was a great movie, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Bearing in mind, Captain Marvel is one of my favourite Marvel characters, and I really... And Miss um, Marvel is one of my favourite comics, and I really enjoyed the Miss Marvel show. And I think it was a really, really good movie, yeah. Really enjoyed it. The, uh, the interaction between the three characters I thought was really good. Imagine if we won. I mean, we did beat Aberdeen last season, but they seem to be even better this year. But if we lose this one, I think we drop below the... or we equal the Kev ratio. So we are getting to the point where we're in need of a win. They're playing a horrible narrow system as well. I hate it. I, I hate these awful narrow systems. Right, I'm getting my Pokemon stickers out as well because I just assume we're going to get thumped again. Oh, these ones aren't in a separate little bag. Some of these are quite big. Some of these are quite cool, actually. Oh, there's so many Pokemon. Hopefully, if my new clamp turns up by tomorrow night's stream, I'll be able to show you my new camera angle. Now look at the Mario ones as well. See if they are Mario or Nintendo. They might just be Mario ones looking at them. We scored a football goal! Amazing. Oh, some of them are quite cool. Put some on Dave. I might do. No, I think this is going to be quite Pokemon themed. Looking the Pokemon ones, it's got loads of different Pokemon. The Mario ones, just lots of different shots of Mario from different angles, and then the Marvel ones, just the same five or six superheroes repeating in different combinations. So I think it's going to be mainly Pokemon. Right, come on, let's grab another goal. We can beat this lot. I'm not sitting, Toe, from st um, this is my standing desk position. The chair is a green screen. Because I can't really stream directly onto YouTube 
and expect people to still watch highlights also on YouTube. So I have to keep Lujo 2 going just to feed his kids. Uh, highlights, they'd both go out there and despite the VODs being there, nobody watched them. Everyone watched the videos still. So I don't think it actually would kill Lujo 2 having the streams go on to YouTube. It might even be that the streams end up being streamed to Lujo 2 rather than the main channel. I do like the fact that I've been acknowledged as a champion, though. We are still level with the Kev ratio. That's the important thing. And really importantly, it looks like Ross County are awful. So we're probably not going to get relegated. So that's good. Poor dressing room atmosphere. Ah, okay. This... I hate past Kev. I feel like he set me up for this. It's like he didn't have any consideration for me when he was signing all those players on loan. I can't imagine he'd be that selfish. He must have considered me for a moment, surely. But no, apparently it seems he didn't. Past Kev is scum. There you go. I've told them that it's going to get better. Maybe that'll be enough. We'll lose to Hibs and hopefully start winning again. And then I'm going to get myself a set of bagpipes to play on the way home. That's a good goal. Just keep beating the teams around us, boys. That's all we need to do. You can start the tour for the Hogwarts train in Edinburgh. Interesting. I didn't realise there actually was a Hogwarts train, but now I'm interested. If you watched Best Thing from Cambridge when we were trying to get that series up and running again last year, there was a point where Sheepdog stabbed me in my gallbladder wound in the Harry Potter shop just after I'd had my... It was like 10 days after I'd had my surgery and he basically jabbed me straight in the wound in that shop. I almost passed out. I, assume, I assumed that was just a movie set because they've rebuilt some of it in uh, Watford, haven't they, at the Universal thing. Is that you? No, the Warner thing. Because I've been there. That's good. I went there not long after it opened, so I don't know what's there now. Went to Warner's in January. It was awesome. If you've not been for a while, I recommend going again. Yeah, it's over 10 years. I don't think I'd even met Anna when I went there. So it's probably closer to 15 years. How long has it been open? We've just scored a winning goal, I think. Please beat the teams around you. Please don't let them back in. There's two minutes that we've got to survive in this match. Come on. Let's have another one. Make it make it look easy. Make it look much easier than it has been. We were two goals up at one point. Please don't now concede a last-minute winner. I'll be heartbroken. I want to stay in this league. Come on, Rory. Ah, why are you giving the ball away? You silly boy. Oh, no. 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 Kick it really far. Rory's basically crossing it there. What is he doing? There's still a minute and a half to go. Please don't have the ball here. Right. Run with it. Is that a penalty? Oh, for goodness sake. Come on, Sir George. We need Sir George to do what Sir George does. It's not a penalty. We've paid off the ref. Oh, I love VAR. Oh, that was an important win. What's that done to morale? We're back up to a good atmosphere. Team cohesion's collapsing, which is weird because the players have now been here longer. Rangers are still in the bottom half with us. <laughs> Absolute madness. I really like the Lusher Cup. You lot will really like it because you lot are the hardcore. This is what we have to. This is what we have to understand sometimes. As much as as much as you lot keep me entertained in the evenings, there's only a few hundred of you. <laughs> it's not worth doing a whole video for. I'll come and hang out with you in the evenings so we can chat and so I don't lose my mind. Got 20 in my first season at Dortmund, I think, which was pretty impressive. We're 2-0 up. We're back. We just can't cope with those, those four teams. The problem is, when it's a 12-team league... We're one of the teams and we get thrashed by four of them. It's quite hard to finish in the top half because you literally have to win every other game. 
And then the reward for being in the top half is that four of the five teams you play when you get there are the four that always beat you. So I don't even know if it's worth trying to... Is it something to even be aiming for? Oh, yeah, you can end the season really miserable. Or you can end it with lots of wins. Come on, everybody, let's dance. Blimey, Rory, what are you doing there? I know Sir George is the only player here you recognise, but that doesn't mean he's the only one you're allowed to pass to. That was bonkers. If he'd have mishit that slightly, that would have been rather problematic. Easy. Again, I don't remember those kind of details. There's a chance it was. There's a chance it wasn't. I'm not sure. Right, boys and girls, I think we're going to wrap the stream up there. End with a win. And then hopefully start tomorrow night in some good form. We've got like five winnable games coming up. By the time we play Rangers, we could be above them in the league because we're only two points behind them. That'd be smashing if we could do that. But for now, let's find somebody to raid.